Hi everyone, today I want to show you how you can use your iPad as a second monitor and display it wirelessly. Coming up. Okay everyone, so as I mentioned, uh, today I'm going to cover a way in which you can use your iPad as a second display and display it wirelessly. There are other apps that are out there. You can find a lot of videos on YouTube about an app that's called Duet or Duet Display. It's an app that you download onto your iPad and your Mac. The item that I want to talk about today is called Luna Display, and it comes in a little box like this that is a little plug-in that plugs into your computer. So in this sense, it actually has a hardware and software component. So let me go ahead and take this out. Give me a second here. So as you can see here, it's this little tiny little red device here. It comes in two different formats as USB-C or as mini display port. Take it and plug it right into my computer like so. And the computer will read it. And when you launch the app on your iPad, you'll get immediate synchronicity. So let me just show you very quickly how that works. Now before you begin, of course, you want to be able to download the application onto your Mac and onto your iOS device and you can find the download on the Luna Display website. You can also find information related to the mini display port and or the USB-C port and the compatible computers and devices that go with them. Most of them do work. So what are you looking at here now that my device is plugged in that I'm being prompted now to launch the iPad app, which I haven't done yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and open the app on my iPad and you'll see that it will recognize the connection automatically. Now bear in mind, I am not using a wire connection at all. This is all being done wirelessly as long as the computer and the iPad is on the same Wi-Fi network. So here we are. So I'm actually going to use Final Cut Pro as a way to display monitors. And the reason why I'm using Final Cut is because Final Cut actually recognizes multiple displays and will give you an, an option to connect to the display automatically. So you'll notice here on my computer that I actually have a double display icon that just showed up here in the top right. So that's the other thing that's great about Luna Display is that it also is recognized by the Mac as a second display automatically. It's not, you're not trying to trick it into thinking it's there. It actually knows it's there. So I'm going to go ahead and select this drop down and I'm just going to select viewer. And as you can see here, it moves my viewer from Final Cut Pro to my iPad. Now, Luna Display is also a touchable interactive display. So you can use art apps, say like Taiyasui Sketches Pro, drag that over to your second monitor like so. And now I can control that app on my iPad. I'm gonna go to view and launch it full screen so it fits better. And now I can work on this app on my iPad. And with Taiyasui Sketches now on my iPad, I can now create art independently without even being connected to the Mac. And what's really nice is how fluid the response is, almost as if you're drawing directly on the Mac. So that is Luna Display, the perfect wireless solution for using your iPad as a second monitor, as well as an interactive touchscreen. My name is Tim Brown. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of My Apple Podcast. Check me out next time.